Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you again. Uh, this is the third video I'm doing for December, and if you've watched my previous video on um, dominant hand um, tapping exercises, in that video I said uh, for December I want to hit my goal that I set for the year of getting to 100 videos before the end of the year. I looked yesterday and I am on 88 videos, so that means I need 12 more, including this one, so after this I'll have 11 more. So um, get ready to see my ugly mug appearing in your YouTube feed uh, quite often um, this coming month. So today's topic, I want to talk about using uh, major keys and their parallel minor. Um, so if you've not heard of that before, don't worry. So all it means is, let's say we've got a key like C major, we're going to use chords from C major, but also it's parallel minor, so C minor, so we'll be using chords from that, for example. So in C major, you can see here, we have a, the one is a major chord, the two is minor, three is minor, four is major, fifth is major, six is minor, and seventh is diminished. And that's the same for all um, major keys, the same spelling like that and if we jump over to the C minor key we have a minor first a diminished second major third um, a minor fourth a minor fifth a major sixth and a major seventh and basically this is the key of um, E flat major but um, it's in uh, C minor it's relative minor but don't worry about any of that that's not the point of this lesson uh, I just want to talk about how show you how you can start using um, chords from uh, both of these keys to start writing some stuff and it's something I'm quite interested in uh, I've been exploring it quite a lot recently um, in the last past couple of months they've even put it into some of my songs as well so this idea of borrowing uh, chords from the parallel minor key is uh, has been done a lot so I should say and it's done in quite a few famous songs actually and it's usually the uh, minor fourth that's borrowed if you take a song like uh, Creep by Radiohead it's in G major it starts on the G which is the one and it goes to a B major, uh, which this chord is not in G major, as you can see on the uh, chart on screen, which will help clarify that. And then it goes to C major, which is back in a G major there, uh, the key of G major, sorry, G, A, B, C, so it's the fourth. But then we have a, um, a C minor. So, I put question marks here, so where are these um, two chords, the uh, B major and the C minor, coming from? Well, the uh, C minor is actually coming from the uh, parallel of uh, G major, it's a G, sorry, parallel minor of G major, so it's from the G minor key, as you can see here. Uh, it's going to be the fourth and it's a minor chord, so that chord's been borrowed. Uh, the B major one, that's actually um, a completely different borrowed chord, but I won't be speaking about um, how that chord is derived into that piece uh, for this video, but uh, I just want to focus on uh, that minor fourth there for a second. So if you take a song like, um, maybe like Green Day, like Wake Me Up When September Ends, I looked at this one today, another example of that. So that's again starts on G, it's in the key of G major. So it goes to a B minor, so that's in the key of G major. As a, you should be able to look at the chart here to help you. And then it goes to an E minor, which is going to be the uh, sixth of G major. And then it goes to a D major, which is the fifth of G major. And then we have a C major, which is the uh, fourth of G major, but then it goes again that C minor there. So again, that's borrowed from the uh, uh, relative, uh, sorry, the parallel uh, minor G, of G minor there. So B, B minor, G minor, B, C, and Maybe you'll start to hear that. Uh, you just start to think of all songs that actually have that cadence in. Like, there's a lot of uh, no effect songs that does that. And it's used in a lot of Green Day songs. And it's in Bohemian Rhapsody. It's in uh, what other songs is in. A lot of Beatles tunes use that as well, using borrowed chords. Uh, so, like I said, that got me thinking about um, how can I start to use these uh, borrowed chord ideas in my own songwriting. Uh, so I was rewriting some uh, mountain songs, and um, the song Cherry Pick, uh, for the verse of that song, I came up with a new chord progression like this. So it goes, so it's a D major, to an E major, and an A major, 
and then it repeats. And then it goes to a G major there. And then a B minor, 7. C major, 7. And then to a G again there. So on that one, um, you said the key is in A major, so we've got A, uh, D, sorry, which is the 4th of A major. And then you've got E major, which is the 5th of A major. And then an A major, which is the 1st, of course. But then we jump to a same thing again. And then after this E major, I jump to a, a G major. So, like I've indicated here, where are these chords from? And these are the chords that I borrowed from the relative minor, um, certainly relative minor, the parallel minor of uh, A major. So, we got the G, G major. So that'd be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's um, a major seven from A minor. And then we got the B, B there, and the C, uh, which is also borrowed from the A, a minor scale, that's A, B, C, you know, the third there, third major. And then it goes uh, back again into A major. So there I'm jumping between um, two keys. Sounds flows quite nicely, right? So let, let me think, know what you think about that progression. Does it? How does it sound to you? It sounds quite jazzy, but I like the way it flows. And then I, um, if you think about how to uh, write a m vocal melody of that type, when I go. So I thought about how the vocal melody could fit quite nicely uh, with that chord progression going between two keys. So that was a really fun and challenging thing for me to do. And another example of this where I've used um, the parallel um, minor is in uh, that song, Friend. And that song, that song's an E major, and I borrowed chords from the uh, parallel minor, from the E uh, minor scale there. So uh, in, that's in the bridge to the song, which starts in A minor, and it goes to C major, no, no, E minor, and a C sharp uh, minor there. C sharp sounds. So yeah, I know it sounds very jazzy, and that's because that's uh, obviously coming from the E uh, major scale instead. And then eventually the progression changes to a A major to a D major, and then a G major, and then F sharp minor. The A and the F sharp minor. They sound nice going from one another, right? Because they're in the uh, key of E major, and then the um, the. Those two chords are from the E minor, but the sound cool. It's a nice little voice leading. Using the chords like that. And the same with those. Then they all sound like they go together. And that one stands out, but it also fits at the same time, right? And then the same with the throw another borrowed chord from a different key there but yeah there's plenty of cool ideas you can come up with um, so have a go yourself uh, I'd recommend trying out that minor fourth uh, in your progressions fifth that's first I should say that's quite good fun but also I uh, start to experiment with all the other chords so if you got a song you know that's just like not going anywhere you need some extra chords and you're kind of stuck with like what to choose then this is a perfect opportunity uh, to grab you know the 
work out what key it's in. If it's in a minor key, choose the relative major, uh, parallel major, sorry, and you know the other way around. So if it's a major key, then choose the uh, parallel minor and try out some chords from that. Um, I tried not to be too theory heavy in this video, but unfortunately I have to talk a little bit about theory to be able to explain these things to you. So I appreciate it if you've stuck around. And if you have any questions about any other stuff I did in this video, then um, please drop me a comment below. I always panic thinking there's my guitar volume on because I'm recording direct with no amp, so I can't even hear if the, the guitar signal's going through. But um, yeah, I have another video for you soon. Like I said, I'm going to try and get through all these videos uh, for December. And as always, um, thank you for watching. And if you want to support me, I have a Patreon page, I have merch and all the other stuff. So uh, they'll be in the description. So uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.